Well, hello, friends. Uh, so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic, which is uh, on a vision board. And uh, what is vision board and why do we need to have every entrepreneur needs to have a vision board? And every individual, I would say, need to have a vision board so that they know where they are going and what's their vision. So what is a vision board and how do we put it together? Let's talk about it. So here you go is, so that's the uh, topic of discussion today. So vision board, as the name suggests, is uh, your vision, what you want to accomplish, where do you want to go? That's kind of a roadmap for you to get to your dreams or destination, okay? So why do you need it, okay? And uh, what are, how do we put it together? So let's talk about it. And uh, what is it then? So vision board, uh, you know, is an important tool um, for programming our mind. And every time we look at this uh, vision board, and look at those written there or the pictures there. It uh, frames a pattern in our brain uh, and that's called the neurons. Okay, neurons gets activated and, uh, and that gives instructions to our uh, every parts of our body to act, to accomplish those whatever we have put it together. And uh, why why does it work? How do you put it together? And uh, what exactly we do after we put it together? Okay, let's dive into it. What is it? Mm -hmm. So as you, as the name suggests, it's a vision. It's where you want to go. What's what's your dream? Most of the people around, uh, you know, 80% people do not have a written down a dream or a goal. Okay, And this process of having a vision board or putting a vision board together forces you to take your dreams, the, your aspiration uh, out, and then you want to visualize, uh, you want to see it for yourself. So your destination is uh, clear in front of you. So that is super powerful to uh, turbocharge your entire brain and the entire body. So um, the neurons, so as you know, our brain has, uh, you know, it's a wired kind of a network of neurons. And uh, when uh, you know, we, we want to learn anything, that uh, learning is nothing but uh, the neurons get activated and it gets certain parts of your brain gets activated and there is some impressions, okay are formed within within our brain in terms of neurons okay and that is how you learn things what you you keep things in your in your brain exactly the same way the neurons are you know also triggers not only to store information but also to um, activate and to get us to work for certain things so for example if uh, uh, you see some, um, uh, see or hear something which uh, is disturbing or you, are, you do not like it or, you, or you, it gives a bad feeling uh, to you, then, you know, the neurons sends it to, send the signals to the entire body and different parts of your body reacts to it in a very different way. For example, the, the heartbeat probably, you know, um, if you are uh, getting into the stressful situation, your heartbeat starts to pump um, and your, your breathing pattern uh, may go up as well, okay? So, so that is what the neurons, you know, uh, they, 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 they radiate or they, they send those signals to our entire body exactly the same way as as neurons send the signals and the body reacts to uh, you know what you perceive as you know um, as something which is uh, bad or wrong exactly the same way good feelings as, as well you can create or when you see something good soothing or you hear something soothing and energizing and that is also circulated to your entire body and your body is calm so 
the same neurons can also, or this logic can also be applied to trigger the uh, our entire metabolism, our entire thought process, our entire body to work, um, you know, harder and uh, to work towards our dream without us even realizing that we are getting uh, you know, towards the dream. Okay, so what is the secret is to trigger that neuron. And how do you trigger that neuron? Is uh, by letting our nervous system or our brain to see what he wants to accomplish, what he want to do. And uh, by looking at those uh, vision boards, the pictures and the, and the writings and uh, you know, reading, um, so those gets embedded into our brain. So how to put it together? So there are different ways uh, uh, to have a vision board. So what I would suggest is, uh, you know, to the right one, right side, as you see an example of. So uh, getting the pictures, okay? So you can have journals, uh, you know, different magazines you can collect. And uh, uh, you, on eBay, if you go, you know, there are so many old, uh, you know, uh, magazines you can find and you can cut it out okay, based on you know, your different kinds of dreams. For example, you have uh, a dream or a desire to own a specific automobile, a car, or um, you know, a, a two-wheeler, you know, or, or even a jet plane, or whatever you want to own, or you know, even a ferry. Okay? Um, so whatever you want to own, then you will definitely have a magazine, you know. Now, uh, for example, you have Auto Trader, one of the magazines which is quite popular, is Auto Trader. So you can order one, one copy, and you can just uh, cut it out, you know, the cut out the your dream car, you know, the make and model of your car, and then you just have to post, uh, paste it or or pin it on a board. Okay, what is a board? So it's usually called a pin board, uh, you know, which is uh, made of cork. The, the, the surface, uh, you know, uh, is, is a cork in the background. So you, you can, so, so that you can pin any, any kind of a pictures there. And uh, so once you have it, uh, you know, where do you get the uh, cork board or the uh, pin board from? Again, from Amazon or, uh, you know, eBay you have, or there are so many other, even in Etsy as well, uh, ETSY, uh, they, they have that as well. A lot of people sell there. Uh, so you can, you can get hold of one of those and uh, you can pin all those, your dream pictures, okay? And usually the pictures are uh, um, based on your health and wealth and relationship. There are the three important aspects you have to cover. Health, that means, uh, you know, you see yourself healthy, fit, and uh, um, really, really having that body which you, you like it. Okay. And uh, health and wealth. That means, uh, you know, the material things, what you want to accomplish, what you want to have, uh, could be car, could be beautiful house, could, could be uh, exotic location holidays, uh, you know, uh, could be an expensive watch, so you can, you can put it all together. And then relationship, that means, uh, you know, uh, let's say relationship with your um, uh, dear ones or, uh, you know, your life partner, relationship with your you know, other family members. So um, that is where the you know, real kind of happiness comes. And uh, you, know, you have to just um, put it all together, health, wealth, and um, relationship together in a picture format. Okay? So that, that inspires you. And on top of it, what I, as you can see here, for example, this is someone's dream house. And on top of it, you can have a post-it note and you can just uh, pin it, uh, you know, writing about, uh, you know, uh, it's better to have your own handwritten, um, you know, note there rather than, you know, a printed one. And you write it like, you know, I own this beautiful house, uh, you know, uh, so and so date. You can, you can, you can, you can mention that or, uh, you know, I am. So another very important aspect of it is you have to, when you're writing it, you have to write it in the present tense. That means you are, 
as if you know you already have it so i have it not i will have but i already have it so that's that's an important thing so so after you put in the pictures here so you just post, uh, you know pin uh, you know the post it notes written about what you want to accomplish okay uh, about all those pictures that means you just have to mention a briefly about those pictures okay and then is uh, what exactly you do after you put it together and how many vision boards you should have you need to have is that every room at your home should have one or how many of them well i would suggest to have as many as you want but at least you have one and that has to be placed in an area, in a place where, uh, you know, you are very highly, highly likely uh, chance that you will be looking at it on a daily, uh, hourly uh, basis. Okay, that means you will be looking at it quite frequently. That's quite important. So that means after you have this vision board, then place it in a place where you, you know, you are most of the time you are around that area okay whichever area for example you have a, a kitchen or a dining area you know and you you go to dining time quite frequently so just put it there or if you have a study room and uh, or an office room and you you are pretty much nine ten hours in a in a day there just put it on there or you can have multiple vision boards as well for different uh, you know rooms or different places uh, at your home so you could do that as well, okay? So um, what do you do then? So very important is after you put it together and you have to read it, uh, when do you read it? Well, at least you need to read it once after you wake up from bed, okay? And that is quite important because your mind is so fresh and it is quite sort of a stable there. It's it's not creating the ripples or, you know, it's just not distorted. Uh, you know, so this is your quite uh, mind is, uh, you know, quite quiet. Okay. So um, uh, when do you do, uh, read it then? So you read it or you look at it um, immediately after you go, after you wake up from bed. And then it's better if you can look at it multiple times of the day so that, you know, your, your um, uh, subconscious mind is, uh, you know, activated, okay? So last, last but the most important bit of vision board is the feeling, okay? What does that mean? So feeling means when you look at it, do not look at it like, okay, I wish I have that. No, the most important aspect of it is you have to visualize that you already have it. So you already own that house or you own that car. So that feeling has to be there. Okay, that feeling is so very important to, to attract things around you. That's called the law of attraction, okay? So with that, we are done and hopefully all of you will be going ahead and creating a vision board for yourself and your family. So with that, we are done and over and out.